So, willkommen Freunde, es kann weitergehen und zwar Tell Me Why geht jetzt in die dritte Runde und wir schauen mal immer wieder, wie es weitergeht. Müssen wir erstmal schauen, was hier unsere Mission war. Mit der Frau haben wir gesprochen. Ich glaube, wir müssen sogar raus, ne? Hello there. Are you here for me or my cigarettes? Hey, you're more than just a pack of cigarettes to me. Are you working tonight? No, thank God. I've been pulling doubles all week. I'm working at the diner all day tomorrow, though. You want me to bring you anything? Uh, I'm trying to cut out carbs and grease for a while. Girl, you may as well just lay down in the dirt and let the bears take you, because that is no way to live. <laughs> Taking a break already? Yeah, I needed a moment of zen. Tessa's been on my ass all day. Look, I get one count wrong. She has to triple check everything. Like we'd go full on Lord of the Flies if there was one too many frozen pizzas. Kind of sounds like she has a good reason to doubt your commitment to the inventory process. Oof, Brutus. So your deadline for the Culinary Academy was Monday, right? <sighs> I turned in my application, mother dear. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Well. I will be once I know I got in. I am not worried about that. Did you give them my recommendation letter? Mm, no, hon. While that paragraph about my salmon puff recipe was truly moving, it, it doesn't work like that. Psh, just tell them I discovered Bourdain. Then they'll take my opinion seriously. Later. Ja, ich glaube, mit ihm haben wir genug gesprochen. Ich denke mal, der kommt ja auch mit, wenn wir abhauen, ne? Mal. Ist doch eine Erinnerung, oder? Das sah ihm so aus. Ne. Hier geht's nicht rein. Closed? Aha. Uh -huh. Tess is probably too busy with inventory and business is way slow in the winter. Ja. Ich weiß auch gar nicht, ob wir jetzt einfach abhauen können. Ah, hier, hier vibriert's doch. Wo ist denn die? Ah, alles klar. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Und Schneemann. Können wir die Möhre klauen. Hey, I'm feeling something here. Come check it out. Okay, wo ist er denn? Ach da. You getting any kind of funny feeling here? Die Erinnerung müsste hier im Zelt sein, ne? Ja. Jo. Hey Ali! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Get it? 
because it's a dome? <laughs> You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Okay. Ich weiß gar nicht, ob wir jetzt hier einfach so durch die Gegend laufen können. Hier sitzt auf jeden Fall noch ein Dude rum. Hier will sie nicht. Okay. Na, dann gehen wir nochmal rein. Und sprechen nochmal mit dem Besitzer. Und der muss ja ja gucken, ob wir noch weiter können. Ja. Tourists complained it wasn't safe. Ugh, crybabies. Playground should be ground zero. Hey Tom. There's something I can help you with? What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. How's Tessa today? She looked a bit overloaded earlier. She's a real busy bee. Ever since I started campaigning, she's picked up the slack around here. She's practically running the place. I hate to break it to you, but she always kind of has run the place. Well, now that's a matter of opinion. Hmm, Tessa wirkt genervt. Haben wir schon, wie läuft der Wahlkampf? Wie läuft das Geschäft? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What'll they think up next, huh? Okay, I'll talk to you later. Das reicht, der bringt uns auch nicht weiter. Jetzt noch mal einmal durchs Geschäft gehen, ob noch eine Erinnerung reinkommt, aber... Oder wollen wir mit ihr noch mal kurz reden? Is there something I can do for you? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? Hmm, <laughs> yes. What a lucky coincidence. So, ich kaufe nur einen, dann Streit mit Marianne. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> but, Davon ich auch aus, but there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Ah, genau. Wir müssen jetzt rausfinden, welcher Song das war. Hm. Aber wie findet man sowas raus? Kann der Tom nochmal fragen? Hey Tom. There's something I can help you with? Okay, da kriegen wir nichts raus. Bye, Tom. Schon gesprochen. 
Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Ja, würde ich sagen, wir machen nochmal einen kleinen Rundgang. Um mal rauszufinden, wir welche, Tom, right? welche Song das war. Song. Ich habe ja an Tom schon gesprochen. Aber Tom weiß doch von dem Song nichts. Tom. There's something I can help you with? Okay, wir können ihn ja noch mal befragen. How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Uh, don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Oh, er mit I don't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What do they think up next, huh? Ah, jetzt kommt's. Erinnerst du dich an dieses eine Lied? Ah, alles klar. Oder auch Zeit. This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Ugh. I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Ah, oh, alles klar. This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. Oh, die Mutter war doch eigentlich ganz locker, wenn ich das so sehe. What the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. Okay, Notizbuch, aber 
Wo bewahrt sie denn ihr Notizbuch auf? What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Marianne? I don't know. I saw it in Marianne's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Marianne felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Okay, aber wenn ich das so richtig sehe, ähm, scheint die Mutter echt ein Problem gehabt zu haben. Das ist mal gar nicht um den Jungen gehen können, irgendwie. Is there something I can do for you? Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? I think we've got a good sense of the situation. It's time to confront her. All right. We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts? I never. Like I'm some kind of loan shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have time stamps. I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. Mm. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. Hmm. We found a pamphlet for conversion therapy in Marianne's bedroom. I know you. I know how did, hateful you can... Did you give her the pamphlet? Is that why you guys fought? I really have no idea what you're talking about, and I was never cruel to Marianne. I did everything I could to help her, to help you all. Even when she fought me, even when she screamed and spit in my face for the effort, even when she, even when she didn't deserve it. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Calm down. Look, we know you took care of us, and we're grateful, but... I really need you to answer one question. When you two fought, was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No, and I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do, I just... Then why won't you give us a straight answer? <laughs> I truly don't know what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. Now I understand that this is an emotional topic for you both. And fortunately for you, I keep forgiveness at the heart of my relationships. If you're so fucking righteous, why did you dump Marianne when she was at her worst? I will not be dragged back into this. You need to go, now. Can we have our groceries? Ah. Uh. Um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Cool. Bye, Tom. Oh, yo, yo, das hat aber gerauscht. Aber ich glaube auch, dass sie mehr weiß, als sie zugibt. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. You know, we might have actually gotten to the truth if you hadn't lashed out at her. Are you serious right now? You were on her case the whole time. Don't turn this on me. It's obvious she's guilty of something, and that's why she doesn't want to talk about it. Oh, that sanctimonious bitch! Done now. You get all that out of your system? 
Sorry, I got so worked up. Ich würde sagen, sie ist ein bisschen sauer. It's crazy that she would play dumb like that. She knows how important this is to us, to you. Yeah, but you know you're onto something with the guilt. She didn't want to admit what they thought about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I'm really happy for you. But... That just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and... He was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Auf jeden Fall hat's eine geile fette Karte. Uh, ich überlege so in der Landschaft. Das passt da irgendwie alles zusammen. Sehr, sehr geil. Okay, Police Department muss er sich da mal melden, kann das sein? Nach seiner Entlassung. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Damn. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. <laughs> He's Stellos Crossing's longest serving officer. Officer Beaver. Naja. Und gut, dass er nicht Justin mit Vornamen heißt. So, Freunde, aber bevor es weitergeht, würde ich sagen, Hold on. machen wir erstmal Schluss und wir Garten. sehen uns dann im nächsten Teil. Ne, dann lade ich den vierten Teil wieder hoch. Genau, so machen wir das. Und dann geht's weiter bis dahin. Und dann sag ich mal Tschüss.